On the city side coming in, we're getting ready to start the bridge replacement coming off the interstate of 85, coming into town, as well as the implementation of two roundabouts to coincide with that. Huge major Georgia Department of Transportation project that should spur what we believe to still be coming um, is the Love Truck Stop off exit 2 that's waiting for these other projects to get done before they start their development. So then coming on through that, the Housing Authority of City of West Point has secured property. Um, if you're familiar with the Coca-Cola site, the property that's just past that, the block of woods, I think at one time there was a dental, dentist office on up the road behind the, the clinic there. So we secured properties for a redevelopment of our housing authority and a redevelopment of affordable housing in general in West Point. So we were an applicant in a competitive program that's sponsored under the state DCA for a 9% LIHTC application. We were awarded that which is, like I said, it is a competitive process. We scored the highest in the state, which gives us funding for about a $16 million project that is funded. Um, and then we're in the process of uh, purchasing the property. We've got about another two weeks before we actually purchase that property. We're in the, in the conversations with Georgia DOT now for our interchange that coincides with their roundabout, then coming, uh, and to give you an example, our, our interchange will be where OG Skinner is now. So if you go on into an industrial park at OG Skinner, we'll be across the road from that going in. Is its plan now, the subject to change based on DOT. So what does it look like to have 72 units, I believe is phase one of this project. This is a, an affordable housing project. Mixed income, meaning there be um, rates from from subsidized to 300 up to market rate for our area. It's a need in our community, as many communities have for affordable housing. Currently, most are under the structure that we look like, which is public housing units. That's our means for um, funding for affordable housing. Now is through our housing authority and our agency there. Um, I think we were in the 60s when our housing authorities were built. Our brick and mortar is still in that structure. We do have one complex that may be even older than that. The model of public housing that was designed for what it was designed for in the 60s, 70s, is not beneficial to the way we operate today. So one of the things about the leadership of our housing authority is we've known that. Um, a challenge that we've had is it costs money to fix that um, and to look at affordable housing outside of the term project housing that was defined under the current housing authority structure. Um, my opinion is it's a project that's not been beneficial to the residents in the long term and not been proven to be beneficial inside communities under that structure. You can look at other communities who have done these redevelopments and it's been positive in their communities if, 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 as far as changing the overall understanding of affordable housing. Um, we hope to break ground on that towards the end of this year, barring everything applications coming in. And we will be putting in an application for our phase two, which will be another 72 units on the same site next to our phase one site, which will be a competitive application again. As we've looked at that process, we feel confident that we should score a, a well enough average to be a, awarded a phase two, which would be another 15, 16 million dollar project um, going right there. It's a lot of moving pieces in these affordable housing projects. The, the, the positive thing to us is we're funded now we've got to meet all our other um, criteria to get it to get it built, and we're also looking at a phase three site up Tenth Street. If you notice where the development authority cleared the property uh, on the right some time ago, uh, we have a commitment to them for that site. If we can have our phase three project awarded, and we will look to turn that into a 74 unit all senior project. Um, and that's certainly something that our, our group and our leadership and our board was our really our number one goal 
was to look at a senior site first. In doing all our, our um, process, we, we kind of had to move a little bit and say, well, we, our phase one is a, just a mixed income, no, no restrictions on, on senior or anything else. That's the avenue we're having to take, but we certainly have not forgot about our priority to our seniors inside our residence now to have that redevelopment for them. That That's probably 16 months from even knowing if we have that phase three. Uh, probably six, seven months on knowing if we are awarded our phase two. So that will be this year information as well. 